got a tour for you of my three greenhouses. It's January 8th, 2021 in western New York, about 30 minutes from Buffalo. We got it's a cold frame, raised beds, got strawberries, these first two beds. And then we got some Swiss char. Flip this around for you. Oh, can't do that. We got some spinach I planted in the summertime. I've been waiting for seeds forever. Got a lot of little stuff sprouting up. Some lettuce. houses say about 90% recycled material all the beds are made out of recycled decking I took down and then the hoops I took down for free uh, they just needed to get uh, moved out of a field and then uh, this is first year with this new plastic the only thing I bought for the greenhouse um, decided to Get new plastic this year. I usually get used plastic from farmers around here. Um, got more strawberries here. Made a tiered garden. Try to heat up the soil a little quicker. You see they're still flowering, but they're going real slow because it's just so cold out. It's about 23 outside about 40 in here only supplemental heat we have is um, this heater here um, which I just use during the day while I'm in here I heat up this big pad it goes through here you can see the dry spots and then those underneath my dog Hank out this way and through these tubes here so it's a work in progress. This is the second one here. Got some raspberries. Got all stringed down. Had a pepper plant that was going until about Christmas. I don't know if you can see. But she's about dead now. I got some roses in this tube here. So added a couple more beds along the edges. I try to keep all the edges of the greenhouses um, with beds on the side so that kind of helps with the heat. Um, this is my tea brewing right here. I'll go through that in a second. Uh, this is the second house. So we got some carrots and need a little bit more light and then had a lot of lettuce in here I've been picking from. Still got a couple random stuff in here. We got some beets. Yeah, they're getting there. And we got this area, which was really nice. About three weeks ago until the mice and the voles ran through it. So we kind of got a polyculture, a bunch of stuff that just kind of sprouted up. We got beets, carrots, calendula, um, got some bachelor's button, uh, some bok choy. So we got a pretty good mix going in here, which is doing great until the mice moved in. And then I had to try transplanting some of the carrots. It really probably isn't going to work, but we'll see. Got another bed over here. A little rougher soil, but we got a lot of brassicas coming up here. See the heart-shaped leaves? And then we got some peas that have been coming up for about a month now and haven't really done a whole lot. But this is my tea system. So all we got is pretty much a sub pump hole with a small garden pump here. 
And what I have on the outside, all the greenhouse, I don't know if you can see here, I got mulch and then mix with fresh horse manure on all the outsides of the greenhouse. So then when it rains, all that water leaches through and goes into this sub pump here. I pump it up to this top tank I showed you earlier. And then that's what I use to water all my crops. Um, it works really great this time of year uh, when the water will freeze up from the house and you have nowhere else to get it from. Um, and just in the cooler times, it works good. When it gets hot out, you have to be really careful. You're not breeding mosquitoes and just keep it dry, um, which is pretty easy at this property. Um, the springtime and fall is when we get the most rain. I got one other thing. I planted a lime clot here. If you can see it, it's still going. So we're gonna try to make it through a buffalo winter here with very little supplemental heat. We got entrance to my next greenhouse here. It's an A-frame. So this is the original greenhouse that was I built. It's probably about four years old now. So originally it was the A-frame that you can see in the back here, the end walls. Made it through four feet of snow the one winter. And then come springtime, we get 60 mile an hour winds and it breaks this wall in. So what I did is I squared up these ends here. So when the wind hits it, it kind of deflects. It's kind of hard to see. Might be able to see it there. So we don't get that one massive sheet just getting hit by the wind. Um, and it's been really great ever since. Um, I got on the north wall here, I got some, some bricking just to kind of, hopefully the sun will heat it up during the day and I got it heavily insulated behind it. And I just made this here. All we got right now is some cilantro, but uh, this is going to be my tomatoes for next year. I'm going to try to get them started extra early. There's a uh, hot compost underneath neath this. I dug it out. Put the hot compost in and put the soil back on top here so it's going to settle down and hopefully produce a little heat it's been staying about 50 degrees on top of the soil which the rest of the soil is about 40 degrees in the other greenhouses so it's staying a little bit warmer and we just got another bed over here Got some rock work I put in here, just out of this little section. Nothing's perfect in here, but it gets it done. And this one has recycled plastic on it. It's four years old, but still looks totally fine. Hope you like, comment. Thank you.